I got back to London and I, I was terrified. I said, you have to get hold of a gun for me. Every, every two weeks on a Wednesday night at eight o'clock, I would sit down and I'd put two bullets in the chamber and I would just spin the barrel and, and put it like this, pull the trigger. I, I got such a buzz out of uh, the anticipation. Maybe, maybe all this shit will finally be over. Maybe I'll, I'll be out of it. I would say most of my writing has been fueled and based on this huge anger and, uh, and rage. I was arrested and uh, imprisoned in this jail in South America and just about every kind of human suffering and degradation was inflicted on us. I just met it in its purest form, it, it just evil existing just to do, just to be evil. And that kind of chilled me and fascinated me. Someone had once asked, why are there no Irish crime novels? And this guy said, because there are no mean streets in Ireland. When I got back, by Jesus, we had mean streets, dangerous and vicious, and we have this huge crime rate in Galway now, we have crack cocaine, we have all that stuff. So with prosperity comes this terrible price. But it was brilliant for a writer. It was the perfect time, and I was just in the right place at the right time. Particularly the way the world is now, I think you have to be aware of all kinds of weird and crazy shit that goes on out there. But for me to be able to kind of live in the light and live in, um, and live in the world, particularly after South America, I had to find a way that I was comfortable in, in, in that awful darkness that was in my head so that I didn't want to kill myself every day. But it, it, it was the writing that, that saved me and saved my life because I could take all that poison and all that bile and bitterness that I had turned inwards and put it on the page and that way I could live in the world.